Hi, this is Rupert Shapiro with the Dr. Vax channel, and today we're going to have some fun. Before Corona, if I was out with friends and I was telling them what I was doing on the Dr. Vax channel, they asked me, why would anybody ever want to use a 3D printer? In fact, can't you just buy that stuff cheaper? You go online, you can buy it for a lot less money. Well, today we're going to look at some practical prints that are just a lot of fun. And the reason they're practical is because you can have them when you want them, customized to just the way you're looking for. Yes, you can buy lots of things inexpensively online today, but the ability to customize a plastic or a plastic composite item to just your specifications is what makes 3D printing so special. We're all learning a lot about this today because of the need for personal protective equipment that is used by our healthcare providers and others. And this is an example of a product called an ear saver that you can print in 20 to 30 minutes off pretty much any 3D printer. So stay tuned and let's learn something together. Now we're gonna to start today with just some fun toys. Then we're gonna move into useful items. Then we're gonna move into items that magically you can go online, you can customize, you can download and print. It feels like science fiction. So let's start with uh, just a really fun toy. Any of the toys that you print off a 3D printer that are articulated, I will tell you they're a big hit with grandchildren. I assume they're a big hit with children, but my children are 30 or older, so they're not playing with these things too much anymore. This first item is called the Flexi Dolphin. And before I go any further, let me give credit to Thingiverse. Thingiverse is a completely free website. It's sponsored by MakerBot, and it got a bad rap for a while, because for a while over the last couple years, it was really slow and clunky and hard to use. They've clearly done a software update on the website. They've introduced advertising, which some people might object to, but it helps them pay for the site. I get it. And advertising doesn't really cost you anything directly. You can ignore the ads and they're done very tastefully. There are over 1.8 million models of things you can print on Thingiverse. 1.8 million. And so it's very likely you can find something you're looking for. There are a range of other sites, and I'll show you a link to a video here where I talk about some of those other sites. They're also very, very interesting. I tend to go back to Thingiverse because it has a very large repository of models. So this is called a Flexi Toy or a Flexi Dolphin. I'll show you on the screen here um, the site, the model on Thingiverse, and I'll provide links down below to all of these models. The next item I want to look at are these pair of earrings. Um, these are actually quite beautiful. You could scale these up, scale these down. If you search for earrings, you'll find many of them. Now, I chose these because it's a good example of elaborate design that's available pretty much for free. Now, depending on the license for these items, and each item has a license, you may not be able to resell it, but everything on Thingiverse you can use for your own use. These are printed in Hatchbox PLA, and let's see here, I printed this on my Monoprice Ultimate 2 at a smaller resolution at 0.16. Most of this is printed at 0.20 in what they call a fine profile. So it prints a little slower so that you can see all the details. A beautiful print. Next, the final toy we're going to look at are these individual blocks. Uh, these are printed a little bit too hot, so there's a little bit of stringing on these. These were printed on my ANET ET4. You can print two of these in a little under an hour. So you'd probably take all day if you wanted a whole bunch of these for your kids to play with. But it's the type of project where you could print a couple of days and add them to your children's collection. You'll see these here on Thingiverse, and once again, the link will be down below. Now let's shift gears to practical prints. The first practical print are these clips. 
We all have all these bags around the house. Hopefully we don't eat the whole bag of potato chips in one seating, but that can happen, especially these days we're, we're stuck at home. These are just little clips you can print. They print very quickly. You can print three of them in under an hour. Uh, these blue clips are printed in Hatchbox PLA. Um, and these were printed on my Ultimate 2 in Hatchbox PLA. Just a lot of fun. You can print them in various colors. Now, here's another good example. You could buy these online. And they'd come maybe tomorrow or the day after. The amount of plastic in these, this probably sells for, I don't know what they sell for. Maybe you get a handful of them for five bucks. This is about 20 cents of plastic or less. And you get them when you want them. You want bigger clips? You go into your slicer and you scale it up. You get bigger clips. You want smaller clips? You go into your slicer, you scale it down. So the ability to customize and get things now, now being within an hour or two, is really very powerful. Let's go to the next example. So you'll see the original model on the screen. This one has the Dr. Vax logo on it. Once again, I went into Tinkercad. I loaded the model. Then I loaded my logo, which was in an SVG file. Technical detail, you can actually type things right into Tinkercad and just edit it on top. Now, how do these work? Well, you clip these to your favorite mask. And then, instead of the mask hanging on your ears, it goes around the back of your neck, which is really much more comfortable. Probably a little hard to hear me right now, so we'll take this off. Um, these print in about 30 minutes. I've printed these for a bunch of my doctor friends. They're very useful. I find printing them, scaling them so that they are 1.25 millimeters high in PLA. This is... Uh, Matter Hacker Build PLA works very, very well. These were printed on a ANET ET4. Next, a very simple, practical print that once again you could scale up or down. This is a hook that goes over your shower door. So it sort of goes like this over your shower door. Um, and you can use it to hang things in your shower. Uh, easy, simple. What's fun about this is you can print it in any color you want. So another example of a simple, simple, practical print. And the last example, I haven't seen these much in the United States, but in Europe and in the Middle East, if you go to get a shopping cart, they're chained up with locks and you have to put a coin in there to get them out. Well, these are just the right size to go into that slot. Wonderful item that you could personalize. Go into Tinkercad, put your name on it, put a logo on it, and give it to friends. Now, the next type of object we're going to look at is magical. Because by filling in a form on the screen, you can customize these. Let's look at these together, and we're going to start with this battery holder. Now, this battery holder holds nine AAA batteries. I could have made it for AA batteries, for C batteries, for D batteries. I could have made it for 24 batteries. I could size it just the right size to fit into a drawer. How do I do that? It's trivial. I go to Thingiverse. I find an item that has the word customizer in the description. So if you search for customizer, you'll see all the items that Thingiverse can customize for you. That's really magical. Let's understand this a bit together. There are a number of different ways to design 3D items. You can use a computer-aided design program like Tinkercad or Fusion 360 or FreeCAD, in which case you draw on your screen the item, you create a 3D representation. But you also can create 3D items with programming languages. If you've ever played a video game, all the 3D images that are moving around the screen are created with a programming language. So there's a programming language called SCAD. And you can see an example of that on the screen. On the left-hand side, you'll see the programming language. And then on the right-hand side, you'll see the result of this program. So you'll see here 
that at the top, line 2, it says battery type. Line 5, it says battery count row. Line 8, it says battery count column. Those are the parameters. Those are the settings you set in order to create the particular battery holder you're looking for. Now, this is scary looking stuff. If you're not a programming geek like me, maybe you don't want to mess with that. Well, you don't have to because in Thingiverse, you can take and just click on the tab that says Customizer and you'll get a form. You'll see an example of that form here on the screen. You just fill in the entries and it will automatically create your item for you. Then when it's done running and it'll take a minute or two, it'll put that item into your account on Thingiverse and you download it like any other model. But there's a problem. I wanted to show you items that basically you could print in an hour. Now I'm gonna break that rule later in this video for a very special item. So this initially was gonna take an hour and a half, but it was much taller. So I just went into my slicer. You'll see a picture of Kira here. I selected the scale item and I scaled a single dimension. I didn't wanna scale the X and the Y dimension because then the batteries wouldn't fit, but I made it less tall. That's the Z dimension. And now it prints in under an hour. Another item you can customize that is a very practical item. You take a little double stick tape and this will hold your phone. Now I'd show you this with my phone in it, but I'm using my iPhone 11 to film this video. So another wonderful item. And in fact, you could scale this much bigger and it would hold a bar of soap. So these are all practical items that you can customize. This next one is magical. So you have a child's toy, you have something in your house where it broke and you need a bolt to hold it together. It doesn't have to hold a lot of weight. Well, just print that bolt and that nut on your 3D printer. Here's a picture of the object in Thingiverse. So this is a customizer item. You can define the length of the bolt, the size of the bolt, the thread, the nut, the nut size. This was printed on my Ender 5 using Hatchbox PLA, and it's magical how well it works. So a very practical item. You have that one bolt you need, doesn't need to be overly strong, just print it. And the final item you'll see on the screen here. So you're upgrading your house to smart switches. And maybe you have a bank of two or three switches, you're just gonna replace one switch. The existing switches are the toggle style. Your new smart switch is one of these flat uh, decorator styles. Where do you get a switch plate that has multiple different styles in it? Well, you 3D print it. Now, this takes a long time to print. This took about four hours to print. But using this customizer object form on Thingiverse, I can print this wonderful model with up to six components and each component can be different. So why do I use a 3D printer? Well, I use it for the fun of it. I love making things myself. But while doing that, I also can make very practical items, practical healthcare items, toys for my grandchildren, organize all those batteries in that drawer that are rolling all over. I need a bolt to hold a couple things together. Um, no more potato chips in the bottom of the drawer. And I even can build custom lighting or outlet plates for my home. And I could do these in fun colors. So maybe you just want to replace the plate that's in your child's room with a pink plate that has their name on it. Well, produce the plate in the customizer in Thingiverse, download the STL file, take the STL file, load it into Tinkercad, and customize it with a name. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up. Please recommend the channel, the Dr. Vax channel, to all your friends. You wanna discuss these things, leave a comment below or go to forum.drvax.com. Forum.drvax.com is a new discussion group where you can upload your own photographs of things you print. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Let's continue to learn things together.